What's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming to you guys from the folks at Luxian Keyshot. Keyshot 11 is coming and this is quite beautiful. The folks at Luxian have released a sneak peek that shows off a couple of things that we might be getting in Keyshot 11. Now we've already seen previous versions of Keyshot and all of the amazing things that Keyshot can do and hands down Keyshot is one of the coolest tools that you can use for your visualization. So if you're thinking about product visualization, 3D character rendering and all that stuff, this actually takes it to the next level for things that you can do as we've requested for a couple of features and tools and the folks at Luxion have delivered now all the way from the rendering down to animation we've seen tons of cool improvement come over to Keyshot and this is just pretty interesting one of the things that I do like about Keyshot is regardless of the fact that you can work seamlessly with the UI you can also go behind the scene and work with the material editor regardless of all that you still have full access to doing some very cool animation and that brings us to some of the things that we might be seeing now this release seems to have a bit of a thing for animation, for years we've requested for FBX imports. By default, in present and also past versions of Keyshot, you can import FBX files, but you cannot import FBX files with animation. And this goes a long way because most people would like to export stuff as FBX files that contains animation and import them into Keyshot and get that sweet, sweet rendering, but that is not something that is possible. But with a sneak peek like this, it simply means that we might be getting something like that. Another thing that looks quite interesting, which I actually don't really know if this is just an Alembic file that has been rendered or if it is actually what we're getting, looks like soft body. And it will make sense to see that soft body animation will be coming over to Keyshot so you can easily do that soft body dynamics as we already have a collision dynamics that exists. And for those who have no idea that collision dynamics does exist in Keyshot, you can actually take a look at it. So how this one works is pretty, pretty simple. You have an object selected, you hit the move tool and you can turn on collision and any surface that that actually gets close to it collides with it. And in that way, you can easily get precision placement of objects across your entire scene. And while we talk about physics, it looks like we'll be getting a particle simulator. Now, I don't know if this is just a particle simulator or if it's just gonna be like physics stuff, but it looks quite interesting. From all of the theses that we're looking at right now, it looks like you can easily create particles and also apply physics to them. And at the same time, you can just simply apply physics to objects and just let them slide from one part to another. And with this coming in as a feature, it looks pretty interesting and definitely it is one of the things I would like to try in the upcoming version of Keyshot 11. So for those who might want to also try this, because this might be coming out pretty soon, sometime in February, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can fill up a couple of information. I guess this is for a newsletter and you can stay informed. This might also come up with a link that can help you test out Keyshot 11 once it becomes available. So this is more like it. For those who like to try out Keyshot, maybe you want to see what Keyshot can do, you can simply go over to Keyshot.com, download the trial version of Keyshot and start testing this out. Tell me what you guys think about this new version of Keyshot that is coming in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.